Hey guys, it's that again. Oh, there she goes. She focuses. The camera is back and uh, electrical tape together. I'd show you, but I'm using the camera to shoot. So, uh, today's project is going to be I'm going to take this sheet of plywood that you can see here and we're going to contraptulate a device to get plugged over this clean out door for a chimney that I do not use. So that is the plan. I will bring you guys back. We need to clean that out a little bit as you can see. Uh, we had some chimney work done in the spring and I have never cleaned it out. So needs to be dug out of there a little bit. So Okay guys, all I did was uh, took some junk plywood, cut it down to three inches. I've got the hole cut out and all we're going to do is attach this and make a box which we will attach to another box that has a square hole in it and it's a little bit bigger so you'll see how this all goes together in a minute. So let's try sticking this together and uh, I put a little glue and just to try to airtight it a little bit it's not anything special just just some wood glue and uh, put a couple screws in it here Getting a little bit of cracking. I may have to pre-drill. So we'll see. A couple more screws in it. At least one in the middle. So get the idea all the way around. Okay guys. <clears throat> We have created our box with the uh, hole in the middle and we're going to create a flange. This is, this is cut 16 inches which is the same as the chimney flue and uh, we're going to cut a square hole 10 and a half inches in the center of this. So all I'm going to do to find the center is do the old Cross center to center, edge to edge, corner to corner. Get the center mark of this piece. Okay. And then I need a ten and a half inch square. So I'm going to do five and a quarter inches in all directions, ten and a half, five and a quarter, this is all pretty much roundabout measurements, nothing really exact, and now we'll line up the corners of both of these, that mark and that mark, and that should land right on the corner of that mark, which it does. that. Do the same thing going this way. Find the mark here. Find the mark there. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. X marks the spot and we've got a ten and a half inch square hole which we'll cut out and then we will get the metal fan installed into the wood frame and then get this ready to install onto the wall. I think we're going to have to turn it. 
make life a little easier. She vibrates a little. Clean this up, go on this one. Close enough for government work. see where I was going. How close was I? Way off. That's all right. Beautiful. That's just a thing of a thing of beauty. Let's see if it fits. Ish. Okay. You guys see the hole? There's the hole. Let's take this picture down. If I can. I don't know how the hell I got it up there. But okay. Around it. There. Anything about that? Fits around it. All is well. Won't be airtight. I could put a piece of foam or something, I suppose. That's a little too fancy for me. So, let's go back and screw this down to the other box. Okay, guys took me way too long to cobulate this thing in here. Um, as you can see, my plywood sides weren't deep enough. My original thought was that I was going to use the curve and let it come up here a little bit higher, but then it sat out too far, so I ended up had to make a deeper box. And then what I've done here so I can actually move stuff is I made this so it turns and the whole unit pops out and it sits down here in a a little groove. Oops, sorry about that. Banged you in the head. So you guys can see that it comes right out. And I can put the door back on if I want to. I did clean the crap out of it. So that should work, I hope. So thanks again for watching, subscribing, and commenting. We'll talk to you again in a little bit. Hey guys, it's that again. We're down here in the purple haze, but I do have the fan sucking and it's blowing some of the smoke out. Um, as you can tell, I've already had the bike running. Um, it's actually running not too bad here. I'll show you what we got and uh, see if we can fire it up for you. That's our power. It seems to like a little choke when it first fires up, but we'll see if it starts without it. Every time it's banging, you know, you can kind of feel it.
what do you think guys better focus up here a little bit it's running I'm still wondering if that valve is a little funky um, might not be seating all the way but I'm definitely getting a sporadic spark it's not a consistent consistent spark so I'm not sure if that's something going on down here um, I might need to readjust my points the uh, cam here was pretty rusty and I cleaned it up with a file and some emery cloth and maybe it's wore some of that off and it's actually uh, maybe it's knocked some of the foot off the um, you know off the, the slider that rides on it so we'll readjust the points in it see if we can strengthen up that spark a little bit and get it more consistent but that's pretty damn good I thought for you know just letting her fire up on her own and uh, still a little smoky down here not as bad as it was though I think the fan is helping so at least we can see a little bit um, I haven't heard the fire uh, smoke alarm go off upstairs yet so that's got to be a good sign and uh, I'm just looking here um, this little clip I was doing some research and I found a picture for the battery the battery is actually held inside like a little little tray and it pivots bolts here and then it pivots on um, so and then these wires would go and hook on to the battery out here I'm not sure this would be the positive and then the negative was on like a strap and I think it went down to this bolt right here on a negative uh, braided strap Kickstarter still has an issue but at some point I'm gonna pull the cover off it change the oil I have not changed the oil in this it's the oil that was in it so maybe that could be an issue too I'm not seeing a lot of oil running out of here but I do see right there it is getting oil up there it looks like because that definitely looks like wet oil I just popped that out of the out of there so so it looks like we're getting some oil to the top of the motor which is good um, means oil pumps working heads nice and warm so uh, anyway the fan is doing its thing my dog is having issues upstairs all that noise um, so we'll get back to you in a little while 